Hello and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 Low Resistance DLC video. Today I'm showing you guys how to actually stage a coup, boost ideology, and so on with your spies. Because as you probably know at this point, you can't exactly just simply boost or stage a coup in anybody anymore. Now you have to actually do it through spies and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is have both of our spies go into the same country and both will start making networks. Now, the more of a network that you actually have built out, the more easier it's going to be to do the stuff here, which is going to be boost ideology and propaganda. So what you're going to do is once they start doing that, you're going to want to give them a little bit of time so they can get usually at least, I would say, about 50% bare minimum, I would say, of their uh, network made. Also, just in case you haven't done it yet, I'm going to ignore that. Uh, what you need to do is once you've actually got these guys in France or whatever country you want to boost or do whatever to, uh, you need to go into here and wait until your operations are complete. If you don't have this menu yet, you need to get the La Resistance DLC or click on Intelligence Agency. Click here and this will actually open up the uh, menu where you're able to do this stuff. And as you can see, some new operations popped up just because we've been here for so long actually have gotten a decent amount of intelligence started as you can see here uh, I just started popping up so now that we've had people here in long enough time we're able to start doing some stuff like coordinate strikes uh, or we can actually uh, orchestrate a coup but as you can tell we can't orchestrate a coup yet because they're not at least 20% fascist now this is what I was talking about you want to usually wait and make sure that you're turning them fascist somewhat and we just hit 50% so what you're going to do here is you're going to go to boost ideology and you're going to click the country. Now, as you can see, it will only go up 0.02 a day, but if you give it a little bit of time, eventually, once they have a little bit more of a network, since this guy's at 52%, well, actually it was 0.02, and now that we're at 50% boost ideology, and it's still at 0.02. But uh, long story short, this is what you have to do. You just have to really keep trying... Oops do not want to do that you want to try to boost them fascist once you have enough of a uh, kind of network established so that we can have a strong intelligence level so let's just go ahead and start doing that now actually my bad it restarts it <laughs> okay my bad my bad people all right so what we're gonna do here is wait until they go fascist a little bit which oh that's gonna take some time all right, so now this guy's been boosting them up a while and long enough. What's going to end up happening here is you can see that their stability is ridiculously low. That's because I had to use cheat code because their stability is too high, and I'll show you what it needs to be in just a moment. But you can also tell here that their war support's low. That really doesn't count too much into it. But once their stability is low enough and you've boosted them enough to the ideology that you need them to be, you can go down here and you will see where to go, where to go, where to go. Orchestrate a coup. There we go. So... Once you click prepare, it has to show some of the requirements met, like down here it'll say requirements, and I think for majors they have to be 35% or 50%. I think it's 35%. They have to be um, under the, uh, they have to be 35% or less stability. But uh, it'll tell you if you look under prepare, because some nations might be different, I don't know yet. But you're going to click prepare. To orchestrate the coup it will tell you how many rifles it needs if it's a good chance it'll happen which it's really not it actually says it is a huge huge risk it would it's telling you this is probably not gonna work but we can go ahead and do that and just show you guys for the sake of it and if it goes through it tells you right here what will happen uh, it will become fascist it will become uh, partly reticule will be the thing it tells you how they're gonna do it and everything so then you can prepare commence when ready so it's actually a lot easier to do and it tells you when it will be done so just like that we are now starting a coup in France all right so now with staging a coup I forgot to tell you guys what you need to do is make sure you wait until it's prepared and once it's prepared then you need to click it and click select target so this is going to select the target state and because I'm a jerk I'm going to click the Maginot Line, because that will be the most broken place for a civil war to start in France. And as you can tell, this is the... Actually, yes. You have to have more than 20% stability or uh, support in the country. Then you have to have less than 50% stability or 35%. It says actually 50 and 35, so we'll just 
say 50 right now i don't know uh then you click commence and now the coup will begin and it tells you the date it will actually fire all right so the coup is almost finished being staged and did it work and we just need to wait one day and it's finished so now what you can do is you can click on it, it says it's in progress so there we go and the coup worked now there has been a civil war sparked you can negotiate licenses uh, with whoever because you kind of staged it. You help them a little bit. Sometimes the AI is more likely to accept it. Then you can like look at their license production and so on. All that kind of stuff. That's something different. I just want to show you guys that for the sake of it. But yeah, guys. So that is how you can spark a civil war. You can see the division count, which... Wait. Where was the division count again? Like I said, I'm as new to this right now as everyone else. There we go. I'm not used to this whole new system yet but then you can see the size of their armies we can't tell anything in France's but if we want to we could have more spies go to other locations build networks in the northern part of France or wherever and try to help our friends who just started a civil war even send them some volunteers if you actually have enough divisions available you know actually I'm gonna do that <laughs> so anyway guys that is how you can stage a coup and boost ideology in the new the Resistance DLC. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and hopefully it's going to make the game a little bit more fun for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to check out the Le Resistance playlist guides. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome.